Ya. All right. We're just going to give a minute here uh, before we get started. I believe uh, Irma, you are on with us now. Uh, I'm sorry, Inma, Inma Iglesias. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. If you give, if you give me a minute, uh, we'll just wait to see if a few more people log on. Uh, but in the meantime, I apologize. I actually had to end up using my phone here as my iPad Zoom account needs to be updated. Uh, and I'm trying to do that with a hotspot. But before we can get started, my name is Minor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Did you have any uh, questions or comments before we begin here? Mm, not really. I, yeah, I, I saw the house yesterday on Redfin. Okay. And yeah, no, no questions right now. All right, you know what? And I'm actually on my iPad now. So hold on one second. There. There we go. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Perfect. All right. Oh, something that always happens whenever we're, we're doing these Zoom open houses. So I'm sorry, you said you saw the house yesterday, yes? Yeah. Great. Okay. And uh, what is it about the home that attracted you? What, what is it that I like? Yeah. Is it the location? Is it the school system? Is it the home itself? Um, I, I, a combination of all of it. Uh, we live in, in DC right now, but... Um, okay. Uh, we are renting out a, a it's, it's a pretty big apartment on yeah. Massachusetts Avenue, uh, but I, I could really love to get a house. And okay. this one kind of meets the, uh, what, we are, what I'm looking for. Great, great. Are you at the beginning of your home search now or uh, just uh, already engaged? Um, I, at the beginning, um, we made an offer last year for another house uh, in DC. It didn't go through. And, um, and then we stopped, and now I'm going back to looking into houses. But I, I like the Maryland area uh, better now than the DC. This is now uh, more expensive, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the house that uh, we made the offer for, it was very tiny, uh, $900,000, uh, and, and this one is uh, way more affordable and bigger. Uh -huh. so, I, I think Maryland is going to be now the, <laughs> the area. Uh, also, my kids' grandparents um, live very close to the house. So yeah. It's like close by plus. Okay, great. All right, well, um, thank you for your patience. It looks like uh, it might just be you and I uh, for the time being. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to hand things over to my cameraman here. Uh, give me one second here. Right. And I, I also understand that you are representing the, the, the house owners, right? So right. because I don't have a realtor right now, so if, uh, if I'm interested in the house, um, I guess, well, I can talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah let's talk about the house first, uh, see if this is something that works for you, and then we can go from there. What happened to your realtor from last year? With the, uh, they got a, a, a bigger offer, so yeah. yeah. Oh, did you, did you not have a realtor working with you then either? Oh, we did, we did, but she's licensed in DC. I got you, I got you. Yeah. Okay, who was it? Do you mind me asking? Uh, the name of the girl, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> well, that's not good. Uh, no, so my name is Minor, so hopefully you remember my name. Minor, Minor de Dera. <laughs> okay, I will. Where, where are you from? Spain. Guatemala. Oh, my God. So my, uh, my cameraman today is my son, who's a 14-year-old, and uh, I keep telling him when he's in college that he should study abroad and he should study in Spain. Don't you think? <laughs> Don't you think he would have a great time studying abroad in Spain? I, I think he will have a, a great time, yes. So. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Why don't we start from the outside? Um, okay. So what we have here is, this is the view of the neighborhood. This is the view of the neighborhood, right? You can see there's single family homes on the outside there. And uh, actually over there is one of the new neighbors. He just bought the house on the end. Uh, and if you scroll back, full disclosure, that's actually my dad. 
<laughs> so if I had my own parents by uh, in this subdivision, you know, it must be okay. All right, let's take a look back here. And uh, oh, you can see my mom too. There she is. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Here, this way. Uh, now it says screen recording. So where's your phone? Because aren't we on your hotspot? Uh, I looked at it. It's just, it's just, it's just. You don't have your hotspot this far. Here. Everybody still there? Yes, yes, I am. Sorry, where did we lose you there? Uh, you, so you went outside and, and you talked about uh, your parents buying the, oh. <laughs> the house. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is that where you lost us? I apologize. Okay, so what we were talking about is having the end unit townhouse, right? Can you hear us now still? Yes. Okay, great. So it's an end unit townhouse, meaning that you have nobody on the side here, which provides for extra privacy and more light, right? So uh, even though it's a townhouse, it's not sandwiched between the other houses like these, but you do have the end unit, right? And then over here, you're gonna have uh, purple line development, so it's gonna be mixed use retail, okay? And then on this corner and around that, on this street and around that corner, you have a 17 acre park and a community center, okay? So, um, we're gonna walk you through the house. Feel free to ask me any questions. If there's anything in particular that you would like to look at, you know, definitely let me know. Um, but here, let's go ahead and. All right, let's stop here. Okay, don't paint me. Um, so this is the common area where you walk in. Okay, this is not a real fireplace, so don't be deceived. It's just one of those electrical ones. Uh, as you can see, they have very specific tapes. Um, they have a tile flooring here. Okay, um, many people will do hardwood or something like that. They went with tile. Um, they have uh, expressed themselves with the colors, as you can see, that this would be your living area. This would be traditionally your dining area. They've actually made it into a pool room. Uh, it depends on your lifestyle, I suppose. Um, so but this is typically where people would have their dining. Okay, it flows right into the kitchen over here. Okay, so let's stop right there. Let's take a look at the kitchen here. We have an island, okay. You have your typical, you know, stainless steel appliances and so forth, um, resurface cabinets. There's a kitchen window, okay. We have a little bit of a pantry right here. I'm gonna pull this open for a little peek. Okay, off of the kitchen, we also do have a half bathroom for this floor. Do you wanna take a peek in there? Okay, if we're going too slow or too fast, let us know. If it's a shaky picture, go ahead and walk in. Okay, so just a standard half bath there. Now, this is actually what's really nice. Right off of the kitchen, we have a, a patio. Now, I gotta warn you, before we go out there, we have some parrots, okay? <laughs> so let's take a look. All right, so we have a huge shed, nice little grass. You see they have, uh, they've really done a great uh, job here, especially at night. The 
way this is lit up with the, uh, you know, what you call the style, but the exposed light bulb style, I think it's really trendy right now. Um, we have indoor outdoor furniture, it's nicely shaded. And if you listen closely, you can hear the water fixture that they have back here. Um, but it's nice and quiet back here. They have a privacy fence. Um, I mean, it's really, really gorgeous, I think. People would really make, make good use of this space. Okay, so you can take a look up there. All right, perfect. All right, so you can see they've, they've really taken great pride in their, uh, in their outdoor patio here. Um, I mean, you can imagine how much, how much time they spend out here drinking wine and so forth, and maybe having dinner at times, but it's a really, really good thing. And having it off the kitchen is just wonderful because it just allows for easy access indoor, outdoor, and so forth. Okay. Now they've also done a breakfast table here for obvious reasons. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite a spacious kitchen. Having the island here is really great. I apologize, that's my stuff there. Um, but this is a great area where people can watch you while you cook or you can uh, have drinks while you're cooking and so forth. But it really, it, it lends itself to entertaining and so forth. Um, but uh, yeah, very lovely. All right, let's continue with our tour. Again, if you have any questions or comments, you know, please let us know. Um, we'll talk about anything from location to the house itself and so forth. All right. So let's go ahead and be careful as you go up the stairs with me. I'll let you go first. All right. Apologize. We have people that keep uh, texting about this time. Okay, so this is what's great about this particular townhouse, okay? Not only do you have a living area downstairs, you have an additional family room area uh, on the second floor, okay? So it really gives you a feel, almost gives you more of a big house feel than anything. Let's take a look at this living area here. Okay, this has become, what is it, a facto rec room family area, right? People have the TV out here. There's great windows out here that provide for a lot of natural light, okay? Now, another benefit is they have the washer dryer on this floor, okay? So it's hidden right back here behind the curtains. And the owners have actually done a really nice job because you can see they put the curtain so it goes all the way around. It's, it's really lovely. Um, as you can tell, they have very specific tastes, which is, is pretty unique. I think a lot of people find some, some joy in it, okay? So as you can see, a lot of natural light, okay? You see out there, you can look down on the patio. Maybe one day if you wanted, you could build a, uh, a pat I'm sorry, a balcony or something like that here. But what's great is you have this floor, which has its own bedroom and its own full bathroom. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's take a peek in here. As you can see, it's a full bath. Let's go a little slower. Okay. And again, if you have questions or comments throughout, please just unmute yourself uh, and we'll address all those questions, okay? Let's take a look here at the, at the sink and vanity though, all right? Nice big space, okay? You can see good lighting here. All right, and again, so this is one of the full baths that we have here and it's right off of one of the bedrooms. Now, this for a lot of people tends to be the master. You can choose however you want though. Um, and as you can see, the nice big, now this is what I like about this particular model. You see this bay window? I mean, this is just lovely here. You can sit here, you can have your morning coffee, you can watch life go by and so forth. And again, look at the view of the homes across the street. Unlike a typical townhouse community, you're actually surrounded by single family homes, okay? And if you look there on the corner, I'm not sure if you can see too well, but that's actually a brand new house that they've torn down and are starting to build up. And it's gonna be a big, big, big house. And we actually have a lot of teardowns in this neighborhood. Um, not a lot, but a good number. And part of that reason is because the purple line is coming which is gonna create a lot more opportunity, a lot more retail, uh, a lot more opportunities for you to walk to places, right? And uh, take advantage of public transportation and so forth, okay? Now, uh, the owners have generously left over in the closet so we can take a look. Look at how big these closets are. Okay, it's great, look at that. You can fit bears in here and horses, that's how big it is, right? Uh, um, so that's actually a great, great job. I mean, a great space to work with here, okay? 
So as you can see, I'm reaching up now. I'm, I'm short, but we have a high ceiling here, okay? Uh, but I think people would really, really appreciate this, uh, this bedroom, specifically because of the, um, uh, the bay window there, okay? All right, we have the same kind of flooring here as we did on the first floor. So there's consistency throughout. But let's go ahead and take a look. Now we're gonna go up to the third floor now, which is great. Again, you'll find that the staircases are more open than some of your townhomes uh, community, which is great. Uh, uh, go ahead, I'll let you go first. Again. Okay, so here's actually the bathroom for this level. If you can see that. Okay. Got some tile in there. Okay. Now, here's the great thing about this particular model. They've actually divided up into two bedrooms up here. Some of these homes have three. These have actually opted for two, which means the bedrooms are bigger. Let's take a look. Now, the flooring's changed on this floor. See that? Very nice, right? And again, I point you to the ceiling fan and the high ceiling. Very nice, okay? You have two windows here. And if you stand there, let me stand on this part, just to give you a little depth perspective. So you can see it's big enough to house a bit of this size. And if you look over here, we even have a couch. Okay. And we have another big master closet that's here. But again, look at the windows. Let's take a, view, a look at the view from here. Okay. Again, look at that. It's beautiful, right? You can look at in front of all your kingdom. And it's nice to see single family homes here, right, as opposed to just townhomes. So it gives you a good sense of, of what you're buying into, okay? So you have another big closet here. But what I really love about it is the natural light. I mean, look at all the windows that you have in this room, the ceiling height, the, the depth of the room, and so forth. The same goes for this third bedroom. So if you can actually stand there, and I'll go to the other side for depth perspective. It's quite big. Oh yeah, well, hold on, let me make this. Okay, so you can uh, ceiling fan again, high ceilings there. Okay, you got two windows here. Let's take a look at the view here. Okay. So out there, as I mentioned to you, we have the community center, the 17 acre park. And that's also not to be overshadowed by the fact that we have Rock Creek Park also within riding distance, okay? We'll get into the location a little bit more in a second, but let's continue on with this tour here. This place is so big, you can fit the whole ocean. And for those of you just joining us, don't worry, we'll be restarting the tour again in a minute. Um, but if you'll just humor us as we continue uh, to wrap up this portion. Okay, got your closet over here. And... Let's go ahead and back downstairs and we can answer any questions and then we'll start up the tour again. All right? Be careful on the stairs. All right, so again, two bedrooms upstairs, a full bathroom, one bedroom on this level, a full bathroom plus a family room. And then back downstairs into the kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna reverse the camera here so we can do some Q&A. Uh, and let's see here what we have going on here. Okay, so it looks like a lot more of you have joined us during this tour. Again, don't worry, we're gonna be starting over again. But before we get started, feel free to unmute yourself or go into the chat room and tell me if you have any questions, questions or comments. Um, and while we do so, while we wait for some of those to come up, I will tell you a little bit more about the location. We are probably about a mile from downtown Silver Spring, maybe a little bit more, um, but depending on how you go, right? You can always walk down to East West Highway, cut through the back streets and so forth. Um, in the next couple of years, the Purple Line will be built and it will be right around the corner from here. You're about three, three and a half miles from downtown Bethesda. You're a couple of blo blocks from the DC line uh, as well. And uh, yeah, you're a hop, skip, and a jump from 16th Street, easy access to the Beltway of 16th Street. 
Uh, downtown Silver Spring, if you're not aware, has plenty of amenities, uh, has an ice cream room, a movie theater, tons of restaurants, Bethesda, same thing, uh, uh, Metro, as well as downtown Silver Spring, of course, uh, restaurants, um, uh, tons of uh, nightlife opportunities between the two. Uh, of course, you're right off of the East-West Highway, sandwiched between 16th Street and Grub Road. For those of you who know Grub Road, if you want to go a little farther out Connecticut Avenue, uh, but the, the location can't be understated. But really, what is the driving factor for a lot of people, um, and it doesn't have to be the only one, but it is a big one, are the schools. Uh, we're slated for the Bethesda Chevy Chase High School District, which is one of the top 100 schools in the country, as well as Silver Creek Middle School, which is a brand new middle school, which my cameraman, my son, is the first uh, full graduating class to enter for three years, and they're the first ones to go through all three years. Um, and then you just have a very, very stellar school system that a lot of people are, um, are looking to uh, get into. Um, so I do have a couple of questions that are a little bit more private in nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer those quickly. In the meantime, if you have anything else, uh, please let me know. Yes, we're gonna show you the, uh, the kitchen appliances uh, again, if you just give me one quick second. Uh, and we'll start things up again. Let me just answer a couple of these online questions first. I apologize. It just wanted a little bit of privacy. Um, let's see. Can you hear me? Is a home still available? So as of yesterday, we actually had received two offers already. And one of them uh, was had a deadline on it and it was good enough to accept, but we are currently accepting backup offers. Okay, great. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Tam, yes, that I think that answers your question as well. Um, so let's see. Okay, we took care of those. All right. So I think it was uh, somebody wanted to see the kitchen appliances again. I'm going to show you those right now, and then we're going to start the tour over again, because I think, Tam, you also may be joined us in the middle. All right. So I'm going to switch my camera with me. Okay, so we have a dual door Whirlpool appliance here for fridge. I'm sorry. Okay. If I go too fast or too slow, please let me know. Okay. That's situated on one part of the kitchen here. Then we right over the island. Then we'll show you the stove here. Okay. As you can see, it is electric. And then of course we have everybody's favorite appliance, the microwave, okay? And you can see the detail in the backsplash while we're there as well. And then we can see the dishwasher, okay? And that's a Bosch dishwasher. All right, and there we have the uh, sink, of course. And here is the kitchen in its entirety. I think can you grab my stuff, please? just so you get a good look of how it all pans together. Okay, there's the kitchen in its entirety with the island, the lighting. All right, and you can hear my friends, the birds outside, squawking their seal of approval. All right, let's see. Okay, give me one second here. Sorry, it's hard to operate with the gloves sometimes. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and start the tour again. Um, I think Inma, you were here from the beginning. If you wanna take a look again. Uh, Tam, I think you started somewhere in the middle. Uh, okay. So uh, for those of you who, oh, just put it back up there. Um, Tam, thank you for your message. You can contact me afterwards. We do have your contact information so we can do that. Uh, me. Uh, okay. Great, sorry, I just had to answer a few more uh, private questions there, I apologize. Okay, great. All right, for those of you who are starting up again, uh, my name is Miner, I'm with, uh, I'm the listing agent here, I represent the seller, just so that you're aware. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through this house. If you have any questions or comments throughout the process, please don't hesitate from asking. Yeah, it would be best if you unmuted and then asked, it doesn't matter if we're in the middle, or you can chat, it's just a little trickier, okay? So I do have my, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, I do have my son that's going to operate the, uh, the camera for me so that I can walk and talk and give you uh, a good view of the home. So we're going to start from the front of the house um, so you can get the complete picture. All right. 
and we'll move slowly. We don't want anyone to get seasick while we're doing this step here. Okay. Everybody with me? All right, let's start from the outside. Okay, let's take a look again at the neighbors. Again, one of my favorite points about this house is the fact that um, it is surrounded by single family homes. And again, if you look at the end there, I mean, that's a new construction home. I've been watching them build that. It's, it's gonna be a big, big house. And it's actually one of the few, right around the corner, they've actually uh, tore down and rebuilt another one and they're doing a few more in the neighborhood. Um, so you can see a lot of pride and ownership by the homes surrounding it's a really lovely community. I mean, here we are in the middle of a gorgeous day. You can't hear anything. You hear nature humming, right? Uh, the I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. Now, let's take a look at the exterior. Another great thing about this particular townhouse is that it's an endgame. Okay? So as you can see here, you have no neighbors. So even though it's a townhouse, it's not sandwiched between two other homes like you do with these neighbors, right? You have an end unit. So you're not sharing a wall here. It just gives for more privacy, uh, better lighting, and so forth, okay? And you can see that gorgeous bay window. You'll see that none of the other models had that, okay? None of the other models had that. So it's actually a nice, nice touch. But let's go ahead and take the floor as we go inside. Okay? A couple of more things. If you look down this street, this is where we're gonna have more mixed use retail when the purple line comes up. When you look down this street, this is uh, around the corner from the 17 acre park and community center that you have there. I mean, it's great if you want to walk your dogs, go for a walk yourself, take your kids if you have them. They have tennis courts, basketball courts, uh, indoor community center, soccer fields, football, baseball, softball, all that. Right. And don't forget, we have Rock Creek Park also within the stone floor. Rock Creek Park, as many of you know, is our children to Central Park, New York Central Park. All right, let's stop here and let's just take in this entire room here, okay? So they have a uh, very specific taste with regards to uh, their decor, which makes it really, I mean, it, it provides a good splash of color. Um, they have different flooring here than most people here, but they've done a lovely job, consistency throughout the house. But this is a nice welcoming area. Typically what people use in this area, their specific lifestyle has lent itself to making it super cool, right? And having this pool table here. Now, this area is traditionally what people would use as the dining room, okay? So it's a very, very big area. Um, and it's just, I mean, I love the lighting fixtures here, right? It really lends itself to this house, okay? Um, so this flows very nicely into the back, right into the kitchen where we just started a minute ago. Okay? We literally just showed you this kitchen. I think most of you have seen it. Um, we didn't show you the half bath that's right here for this floor. Let's take a quick look in there. Yep, that's my son. <laughs> All right. So you have the half bath in there. Now, another one of my favorite things, and I know I keep talking about my favorite things, but I really do think this is great. Um, another great thing about this house is the way it just flows right into the out. As you can see, they have a breakfast table here for obvious reasons. But look at the way it just goes right into the outdoor space. These are my friends, the kids. I wish I knew their names. Um, okay, this outdoor space, you know, I can't tell you how great it is to have this. I mean, you have a, a big old storage shed, so you can put whatever you want in there, bikes. Uh, I don't even know if you're going to want to let your own lawn mower. But uh, it, it provides for nice, ample storage, okay? But this is just great. Imagine yourself having drinks out here, having dinner, you know, maybe letting a little dog run around back here. Uh, you can have your kids back there. But it is a great, great big space. And what I love is what they've done here with their outdoor furniture. Uh, they're covering their exposed light bulb lighting. I mean, it's, it's a nice, nice space, okay? Um, I really, it, it's, I don't know what else I can tell you about this space. I would hang out here all the time uh, in the evenings, morning coffee, we're happy with this. Um, you can even see how deep it goes back. Um, it's nice to have a privacy fence, right? You can hear our friends, the parrots back there. Just so you know, they don't come with the property. <laughs> all right, they have a nice chimney right there. I mean, I really can't tell you how great it is just to be out here on the day today. Let's, let's go ahead and touch. 
Again, as you can see, the way it just flows in and out of the kitchen, it provides for a wonderful opportunity to obtain or to just be by yourself and, and eat and socialize and drink back there. I mean, it's great. Uh, so, okay, the kitchen, I'm not going to go into too much depth uh, already because we did start at the evening tour. We have a nice oven here where uh, people can help you cook or uh, you can entertain again. Obviously, we already looked at the appliances. You know, I think it's got a great uh, lighting fixture here as well. So let's go ahead and check out the other two floors. All right. Esme, can you check to see if everyone is still with us? Uh, yeah, we've got it. Okay, great. All right. So we're going to go look at two additional floors, okay? I'm going to let my cameraman go up for safety purposes first. All right, we're going right into, uh, this is great because we have another area where we can have uh, another family room or rec room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a lot of people use this as their TV room, um, but it's great because it provides you just with more space to do whatever you like. So look at this space though, I mean, it's quite big. They have two couches, this big chair. Um, you have more lighting out here because of this uh, big window sliding both sides. Okay. Um, long term, you could do a bump out here if you like. I don't know if it's necessary, and you can make this into a little balcony. But you can overlook your outdoor space here. You make sure your parrots are doing okay. All right, hold it up a little higher. There you go. All right. And what's great is they have their washer and dryer up here. Since you don't have to go up and down stairs, you can take it right into your bed. Okay. So you have the washer and dryer here. Owners have done a great job with the curtains that go all the way around in the corners and so forth. All right. Now, if you choose, you can have your master on this level. It can be great. Okay. So you have a full bath in here. Okay. Let's take it nice and slow. There you go. Okay. And look at this tub too here on the side. All right. And you know, one of my favorite parts about this is this mirror just talks to you. It says, you're beautiful. <laughs> Can't you see yourself in this home? All right. So here's the bedroom with the bay window that I was talking about. If you just stand back right there, let's get some depth perspective. You can see how far back this bedroom goes, right? And you see the bay window. I mean, this is something that other models just don't uh, allow for. You can sit here, read your paper, you can still read the paper, have your morning coffee, look out over your kingdom. Uh, but again, look at how bright this room is. Look at how bright this room is. Now let's go ahead and show them the master closet as well. The owners have been nice enough to leave the doors open for us so we can see the size of the, the master closet. Okay, great. All right. So again, bedroom on this level, your choice in terms of whether it's a master or not. Um, I think most people would agree that it is. So. All right, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. The best part is we have the flexibility. There we have another floor with two more bedrooms and another full bed. All right. But again, you can see the flooring here matches what we had downstairs, so it's very consistent. And then we go into a little bit different uh, uh, area upstairs. <laughs> All right. So here is the bathroom that's shared by the two bedrooms on this level. Okay, plenty of space. You can see the bathtub again over there on the left. Okay, now you can choose between two bedrooms. The question is back. Let's start in the front. Look at the flooring here again that we have here. Really nice. What I love is ceiling fans. Look at how high the, uh, the ceilings are again. And again, look at how much light you have with these two windows. Let's get a little bit of depth perspective. Okay, look at the size of this bed. Okay, full double. Um, also room for a couch. And again, we have another big closet there. And let's take a look out here. Again, you're overlooking single family homes. Beautiful blue skies. It's just gorgeous. All right. 
You have a nice big closet over here to the right. All right, and if you turn all the way around, you can see we have another closet over here as well. Okay, we don't have to go into that, but all right, let's take a uh, look at bedroom number three, the second one on this floor. Same thing, in fact, why don't we stand in that corner this time so we can get some perspective. You can see the view of the ocean that we have here. All right, look at how much, look at how big this room is, okay? Ceiling fan, ceiling height, it's huge. There's a closet right behind Espen right now. Okay. And uh, there's a second closet here. All right. Remember, we've covered, an, we've covered another couple of thousand square feet then so quickly. We're going to go back downstairs. We're going to answer any other questions or comments. And for those of you who joined us in between, we'll start up the tour again. All right, so let's go ahead down. Okay, second floor, family room, rec room, washer, dryer, full bathroom, another bedroom. And then we'll go downstairs. Okay, kill phone the stairs. All right. And here we are back in the kitchen. Let's reverse the camera. All right. I never looked good this close, but here I am. All right. Do we have any other questions or comments? All right. I see some questions. Bear with me. Let me pull those up. Um, Yes, you can contact me. That would be great. We can chat after this. Um, let me just answer this one privately, please. I apologize. Uh, okay, uh, looks like we have a few other questions here. Um, but feel free to unmute yourself, ask me any other questions or, or comments that you have. Um, we've there we go. We have a few more here. Okay, perfect. Got it. Uh, I don't know how to do the emoji from here, but thumbs up. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, do we have? Uh, okay. So I think we're there. If I were to guess, Susan, I'm guessing that's you, Susan. Let's see. Susan, do you have any other questions or comments uh, for me? Okay, uh, so I believe we are done with the remaining people. Susan, you would be the last one if you have any specific questions or comments, although I suspect I know who you are. Uh, but please let me know in the chat privately or you can unmute yourself. Nope, okay, for the rest of you, uh, we've already redone the tour. If you have any specific questions or comments, uh, now is the time. Otherwise, I will uh, wait for the next set of arrivals to come in, though I think most of you have already been scheduled for this time. Okay. Um, so what I, I will do at this time is I'm going to mute myself while I answer some of these questions and comments. Um, and, and as well, some of you have been texting me uh, as well. So bear with me. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to put myself on mute until we get new participants, and then we'll start the tour again.
Take it. Hey, Nadia. Nadia? Nadia, can you hear me okay? There we go. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Give me one second. Let me just finish up with one person and I'll circle back with you in, in one second. No. Sound good? No problem. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right, sorry about that. All right, Nadia, so we've done this tour um, a handful of times already, so I apologize if I sound parched, I'm very thirsty at this point. Um, so before we begin, what questions or comments do I, you have that I can answer for you? Um, I guess main question, uh, do you guys have like an offer deadline that you've set? So do you want me to be 100% honest with you? Of course. <laughs> We received an offer that was uh, so good because they wanted us to lock it down before we did this open house. So they literally, oh, nice. yeah, so they took it. So this house is actually already gone. Um, I can still give you the tour if you like, um, because I will tell you, Nadia, that uh, we know of two more homes that are coming up in this community. I will also mm -hmm. tell you that this home is very specific in its taste. Oh, okay, okay. Um... It's up to you. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, we can do a quick tour just so I get a sense of um, the community. Okay, That's sure. Okay. okay. Um, so let's see. Aspen, I'll do this one by myself. It's fine. There's somebody here. Yeah, no, I, you, you don't have to. Okay. Um, so where are you on your home, home search? Are you at the beginning? Have you, are you actively looking? Um, actively looking. Do you have a realtor you're working with? Yes. Cool. Who are you working with? Working with um, Danny. He's with Hathaway. Um, Berkshire Hathaway? Berkshire. Yes. Berkshire Hathaway. Yes. Danny. Danny. I don't know if I know a Danny from Berkshire. Do you remember his last name? D'Angelo. D'Angelo. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's see. All right. This is the exterior of the house. You'll see that it has a bay window. Right, and it's an end unit, and so it's different from the other ones because it doesn't have those other ones don't have the bay window, and also this is an end unit. All right, so all right, this they have a ceramic tile floor here, that, so that is not a real wood burning fireplace, it's just an electric one. This is the living room and dining room area, which you can see that they've converted into a pool room. Okay, um, it feeds right into the kitchen where they have tables, I'm sorry, um, an island. Um, they've refurbished the cabinets. So it's again, very unique taste, stainless steel appliances. That's my son, the cameraman, he's taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> We've already gone Facebook Live and all that stuff, so, all right. So they do have table space here. They have a half bathroom. Okay. Then we have the patio out here. This flower wall, the garden. The outdoor, you know, going through here. Privacy thing. There's my boy. <laughs> All right. So they have another family room here. 
Nice. Okay. The bedroom with the bay window here. Mm, cool. Mm -hmm. Full bath here. With the tub, nice tiling down there. And then we have two bedrooms upstairs. Here's the bathroom. Second bedroom. Good. And the third bedroom. Oh. Nice. Is that the, is that, do both of them share that one bathroom? Or is Correct. They do. And I guess would one of those be considered the master? Um, no, I think the master would actually be on the second floor. Okay. Um, but there's no right or wrong answer. Right, right. So okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, now we have uh, two more that we think that are coming up in this uh, little area. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So uh, let your realtor know. Um, okay. But, yeah, we have a we have a habit of selling homes very quickly, and so oftentimes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we always give, no, we, we give we give priority to our people, unfortunately. Yeah. No, that's cool. Well, I appreciate the tour, and we'll be on the lookout for the other listings. Okay. Take care now. Thanks. Okay. For thanks. Me. Bye. <laughs> Are we on it? No, we have to do two more tours. Wait. Um, Instagram and.